morning, y'all. What's up? You know what time it is. God bless y'all. It's today, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, August 20th, 21st. Hope y'all enjoying yourself, man, taking y'all time. Where? Day by day, y'all. Day by day. Hey. Right. Even young people get tired, man, and, and, and weary. <laughs> but the Bible say those who trust in the Lord are gonna renew their strength and mount up and take and soar off and soar on wings like an eagle. Uh all if I get scared of All glory. Uh first of all, all glory, honor, praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus. And the sweet Holy Spirit got to give credit, honor, and glory to who it's due. Amen. Yeah. Those who trust in the Lord are going to mount up, going to renew their strength, and mount up and soar on wings like an eagle. Uh, where am I going to go to, y'all? Let me go to God bless y'all. <laughs> oh, God bless y'all. I know it's early in the morning. I think some of y'all are getting used to waking up early. You got to get used to being up early, man. The day will catch you if you don't. I'll tell you that. Where sometimes I don't, I'll be feeling weird sometimes when I'm just sitting around not doing nothing. Like, what you doing, bro? I don't think I even even don't trust me. I love I love my free time. I love at three o'clock. I love to sit down and watch the rifle man. I don't think y'all know nothing about the rifle man. Good morning, Joy. I don't think y'all know nothing about the rifle man, but that's my show though. It's an old TV show, nineteen fifty nine, nineteen sixty TV show. Three o'clock every day. I'm looking at, it. but I'm talking about just far as chilling early in the morning, not doing nothing, man. I be feeling weird, bro. <laughs> Gotta get up and do something. Gotta do something. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go to Ephesians, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter one. Ephesians chapter one. Still early in the morning. <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. Ephesians chapter one, uh, verse one. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1, Brother Paul said, uh, Paul, an apostle, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to God's holy people in Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every, with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Listen. For he chose us and him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. I love that. For he chose us. I'd have never chose God. I was writing something yesterday. I, I got this. I got this. I got these books I'm writing. I got some little packets and stuff. I got them joints for y'all. I ain't. It it, it costs some money for me to make these joints, y'all. I ain't, I ain't. I ain't trying to make money and stuff. But they they very they they very good enough. Like I'm I'm, I'm posting joints, y'all. Cop them if y'all want to or something. Spread them or something. But anyway. I, didn't, I was writing this. I'd have never chose God. He chose me. I used to have hate in my heart for God. I used to feel, I used to feel like everything was against me. You don't know what I've been through. Where I used to feel like everything was. I felt like Jacob. Oh God. Used to feel like. Used to feel like everything was against me, man. Like how come I got to do this and now everybody else gonna do what they got? I'd have never chose God. <laughs> Where I remember mean, I had my fist balled up to God, but He reached His hand down to me. Where. He chose me. I wouldn't have chose him. He chose me. That's why I love him. I love because we love because he first loved us, the Bible says. He chose us and him to be. The, he says, well, he chose us and him before the creation of the world, before everything even started. It says he chose us. I don't know who you is, well, wherever you come from, whoever you is. This is a nice example. If any of y'all got children, if any of y'all have children, you see your children, right? If you see them grow as a baby, you see them grow up as a baby, and then you see them mature and get a personality, like where that come from? <laughs> because whoever they are, they always been there somewhere, but you see them grow up and start to mature and get and gain a personality. The same thing happening with yourself as you get to grow up and find out who you, and, and find out who you are. You see it happening with your kids, <laughs> like these people, wow, they grow up and get to look. <laughs> the same thing happened to you too as you're growing up and figuring out who you are. Uh, he chose us before the creation of the world <laughs> uh, to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and will, to, to the praise of his to, to the praise of his glorious grace, 
which he has freely given us and, and which he has excuse me which he has freely given us in the in the one he loves amen and him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of god's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he purposed in christ to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. Amen. And him we were chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might... <coughs> uh, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel, your salvation. I like this right here. When you believe, <laughs> the moment you believe, at any time, the moment you believe for yourself, I'll never forget the first day, the first the first time I was, I was 25 years old. It was three years ago. Three years ago, three months and 21 days. Today, the 21, 21st, right? Yeah, three years, three years, three months, and 21 days. I was in my apartment, man. Like, I, I, you see, when you, when you search me with your heart, it was the very first time I really actually, actually called on the Lord for my heart. The very first time, and it, I ain't have a whole lot of faith. I ain't even know if I was going to get a response. But I called on it. <laughs> and I was able to go to sleep. It says, when you believe, the moment, the moment you believe, listen. When you believe, you will mark in him with, with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession, to the praise of his glory. Amen. For this reason, verse 15, Paul said, For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and all and all your love for God's for all of God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you. Remembering you in my prayers, I keep asking that the, God, that the God of our Lord Jesus, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance and his holy people, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. Amen. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things, excuse me, and God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be the head over everything for the church, Amen. which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. I love that. I'll bear with you. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. I'm still going verse by verse. I'm in Psalms. I'm just throwing this out here. I love this. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 say, made alive in Christ. I love this. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 say, as for you, you were dead in your transgression and sins. <laughs> Each and every single time. In which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air, speaking of Satan. The spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the desires of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were, even when we were dead in our transgressions. I couldn't get out even if I wanted to. It is by grace you have been saved, and God is, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that the in order that in the coming ages He might show the incomparably riches of His grace expressed in His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. I can't earn it. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that so that no one can boast, no one can say I saved myself. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Anything I'm doing, <laughs> I'll go all day on that. Y'all see me talking right now, listen, now, anything, anything anybody has ever done, the Lord already prepared for them to do it. <laughs> God made everything in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested from all his works. <laughs> um, I, I'll go all day with y'all on that one. We impatient. We can't understand. We can't, we, we'll never be understanding. We'll never be able to understand God's time frame, his wisdom, and the things he done. We still waiting. 
We still waiting. <laughs> God did everything in six days. On the seventh day, he rested. It's 2022. It's been thousands of years. And everything God has ever done, going to do, or will do, has been done in six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. The Lord Jesus still working and doing stuff, right? Yeah, he been dead. The Lord had him been doing it. Uh, you, you got you got to have the Holy Spirit to understand what I'm talking about. I ain't going to blow y'all's mind because I, I get carried away. <laughs> but bless the Lord. <laughs> Everything that's going on, he been dead. Uh, I'm going to stop right there. You know, in fact, I'm going to keep reading this. And then I'm going to go back to where I left off. Therefore, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Say, therefore, remember that, remember, Brother Paul said, remember formally, Remember that formerly you who were Gentiles by birth and called un, and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision, which is done in the body by human hands. Remember that at that time you were separated from Christ. You, you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel at, and foreigners to the covenants of the promise without hope and without God in the world. Amen. But now in Christ Jesus, you you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. <laughs> For he himself is our peace. I ain't never had peace a day in my life till Jesus came, man. Oh, I still be in a boat and still be in some storms. But I'm telling you now, I'd rather be in a boat and be in a storm with Jesus than walking on my own. I'd have been all I'd have been to the I'd have been to the other side of America by myself. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. All right. I ain't never had peace a day in my life. Thank God every day. I, I still, I'm still in the neighborhood. Yeah, you ride over here. You can pull up on me if you want. <laughs> I'm talking to y'all like this now. I told y'all I'm going for the Lord. <laughs> I speak to people, whatever, but I don't. <laughs> I ain't really carried away with y'all. Uh, I ain't never had peace a day in my life until Jesus came in. For he himself is our peace. <laughs> I came back. Came for the price on it. Can't nobody take it away from me. <laughs> for he himself is our peace. Who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility by setting aside, by setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulations? His purpose was to, his purpose was to create in himself one, one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace and in one body to be rec and in one body to reconcile both for them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but now fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as, as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises and, and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Amen. I love that. Pastor, I, God bless you, brother. God bless all of y'all. God bless all of y'all. I get carried away from that one, John. Where I stop from pick? I stop from Psalm 72. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Psalm 72. Uh, Psalm 72. <laughs> uh, King Solomon. Brother Solomon wrote this song. <laughs> All right. Psalm 72, verse 1 say, Endure the king with your justice, O God. Endure the king with, with your justice, O God, your royal son with your righteousness. <coughs> May he judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring prosperity to the, to, to the people, the hills, the fruit of righteousness. May he defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. May he crush the oppressor. May he endure as long as the sun and as long as the moon through all generations. May he be like the rain falling on on the on a may he be like rain falling on falling on among among field among field like showers water and earth in his days may the righteous flourish and prosperity abound till the moon is no more may he rule from sea to sea and from river and from the river to the ends of the earth may the desert may the desert may the desert tribes bow before him and his enemies lick the dust May the kings of Tarshish and the distant shores bring tribute to him. 
May the kings of Sheba and Sheba present him gifts. May all kings bow down to him and all nations serve him. Amen. For, for he will deliver the needy who cry out, the afflicted who have no one to help. He will take pity on the weak and the needy and save the, and save the needy from death. Amen. He will rescue them from oppression and violence. For precious is their blood in his sight. Amen. Long may he live. May gold from Sheba be given him. May people ever pray for him and bless him all day long. May grain abound throughout the land. On the tops of the hills may it sway. May the crops flourish like Lebanon and thrive like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun. Uh, then all nations will be blessed through him and they will, and they will call him blessed. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. This concludes the prayers of David, son of Jesse. Psalm 73. I like this one right here. Brother uh, Asaph was going through something. <laughs> yeah, brother's going through something. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I wrote this drawing down. I got this. I got this wrote on my wall because <laughs> it's Earth bouncing. <laughs> I like this drawing. Dude's going through something. You gonna fit you something? I just I let him speak. <laughs> God bless you. Psalm seventy three. Uh, Brother Asaph said, <laughs> "I done found myself this time. Surely God is good to Israel." Verse one. Psalm seventy three. <laughs> Listen to him. He says, "Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart." But as for me, <laughs> my feet my feet had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold. For I envied the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. <laughs> they have no struggles. Their bodies are healthy and strong. They are free from common human burdens. They are not plagued by human ills. Therefore, pride is their necklace. They clothe themselves with violence. <laughs> from their callous hearts comes iniquity. Their evil imagination have no limits. They scoff and speak with malice. With arrogance, they threaten oppression. Their mouths lay claim to heaven, and their tongues take possession of the earth. Therefore, their people turn to them and drink up waters in abundance. They say, how will God know? Does the Most High know anything? This is what the wicked are like. Always free of care, they go on amassing wealth. Surely in vain I have kept my feet pure, the brother said. No, surely in vain I have kept my heart pure, the brother said. <laughs> and have washed my hands in innocence. All day long, I've been afflicted, and every new morning brings punishment. <laughs> I don't think y'all feel that. <laughs> you said, all day long, I've been afflicted, and every morning brings new punishment. This is someone who's serving the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> you said, uh, <laughs> you said, the wicked ain't got no struggles, man, no this or that, no, uh, they pride, whatever, but, but surely I kept my heart pure. In vain, I kept my heart pure and washed my hands in innocence. All day long, I've been afflicted, and every morning brings new punishment. <laughs> the brother said, if I spoken out like that, I would have betrayed your children. <laughs> when I tried to understand all this, I love this. Anytime you try to understand God and his plans, you, ne you never will. You can't understand it. it is, it's going to trouble you. He said, anytime you try to fully understand everything, every time I try to understand God, why this is going on, it's best for just me just to let it go. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean out on my own understanding and just go through the day. And uh, One of the people said, Jehoshaphat said, it's an army coming up, Lord, but we don't know what to do, but our eyes on you. <laughs> keep your eyes on the, Brother David said, I keep my eyes on the Lord. With, uh, with him at my right hand, I won't be shaken. Uh, anytime I try to understand my situation, though, you can never understand the work of God to make of all things. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes say, just like you don't know the, the, the path of the wind, which way the wind blow, or how a baby formed in a mother's womb, so you can never understand the work of God to make of all things. <laughs> Romans 12 say, don't be conformed to the pattern of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then you'll be able to test and prove what his will is. Now, sometimes you might be able to see a little bit, but you can never understand fully the work of God. I can't. Every time I try to, it troubles me deep. <laughs> I end up going off. You might see me taking a walk. Uh, the brother said, when I try, listen, the, when I tried to understand all this, it troubled me deeply. This is right here. Till I entered the sanctuary of God, then I understood their final destination. Surely you placed them on slippery ground. You cast them down the ruins. How suddenly are they destroyed, completely swept away by terrors? 
They are like a dream when one awakes, when you arise, Lord. You would despise them as fantasies. When my heart was grieved, this is right here, because I feel the same way. I felt the same way. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. <laughs> oh, I can be senseless and ignorant too. <laughs> yeah, y'all see me up here talking to y'all, but I've got my ways. My Bible say all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Devontae Farmer too. <laughs> I can be senseless and ignorant at that time. I know I can. When I was, when he said, when my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you, yet I'm always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterward, you will take me into glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said, yet I'm, yet I'm always with you. And you hold me by, you hold me by my right hand. People say, hold on to God. Keep, keep I, heard, I was talking to my brother Dwayne at the J. Crew one day. He said, You got to keep holding on to the Lord, man. Even when I can't hold on, he hold on to me. I love that. Man, he hold on to you. Man. Even when we faithless, he remains faithful, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 11 through 13. Yeah. Even even when we remain, even when we faithless, he, rem he remains faithful. I love that. He said, Yeah, I'm always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterward, you, you will take me into glory. Who do I have in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My heart and my my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. To those who are far from you, those who are far from you will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. Amen. I love that. They said for going through something. You see, I, I told y'all before. If y'all noticed, if y'all noticed in the songs, at first, at first it all it, they start with problems. They they tell God their problems at first, and then it all turn. They at first they tell God their problems, and then they start praising the Lord, and it turns to a song. <laughs> like that's a good way to put it. But I'm worried. But surely you see how I start off. He said, "Surely God good is <laughs> to those who are pure in heart." <laughs> I guess he's. I guess he's saying God ain't. I guess he's trying to be in another way saying God ain't being good to him right now. <laughs> but as for me, my feet had almost slipped. You see, I had because I, I I nearly lost my foothold. For I envied the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. He talking about his problems, and then he said, uh, then he said, uh, he said, if I spoke out like that in the church and stuff, he said I ain't gonna talk like this in front of everybody. <laughs> I would have betrayed your children. <laughs> He said, when I tried to understand all this, it troubled me deeply until I entered the sanctuary of God. Amen. That's that's when it all that's when it all you see. That's that's where you gotta get to. I, I like that. I get Psalm 74. Psalm 74. Yeah. Psalm 74. A mass skill of Asaph. Psalm 74, verse 1. Brother Asaph said, uh, O oh God, why have you rejected us? Why, O oh God, why have you rejected us forever? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the nation you purchased long ago, the people of your inheritance whom you, whom you redeemed. Mount Zion, where you dwelt, Turn your steps toward the turn. Turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins. All this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. Your foes roared in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men wielding axes to cut through a thicket of grass. They smashed all the they smashed all the carved paneling with, with their axes and hatchets. They burnt your sanctuary to the ground. They defiled your dwelling place. They, they defiled the dwelling place of your name. They they said in their hearts, "We will crush them completely." They burnt every place where God was worshipped in the land. That's going on there. They're not burning the place, but they're trying to remove. It. They're trying to move anything that 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 God connected to. I think I remember seeing on the news one day like they they're moving them statues and stuff. Abraham Lincoln and the monuments and stuff. Why are they doing that? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, they believed in the Lord. In the Declaration somewhere, in the Declaration of Independence somewhere, it's found. The, I'm telling you, the presidents, that they wrote in, in, in the Constitution or, or in the Independence somewhere, it's rather in the Constitution thing or in the Declaration of Independence, one of them, but they wrote somewhere that America, 
you, you have to you have to be under God to to be able to to run to run people. They, it's something like that. But they they knew they needed God. Word. They knew they needed God. I'm telling you. It's in the Constitution of the Declaration. They knew they needed direction from God's word. Something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm rephrasing, but it's something like that. It's in the Constitution. They don't teach that or, or talk about that. They just teach us the, the like laws and stuff. <laughs> like word. Little stuff. But they believed in the Lord, though. But now, as time, things progress and th things turn away, you see how things go. That's why we're going down a different route now. Uh, I ain't gonna go there because I ain't gonna tell them who watching. God bless America and the president and all of them. I'm with them. I ain't against you. I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> they said in their hearts, we, we would crush them completely. They burnt every place where God was worshiping the land. We are given, we are given no signs from God. No prophets are left, and none of us knows how long this would be. How long would an enemy mock you, God? Would a foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take, take, take it from the folds of your garments and destroy them. But God is my King from long ago. He brings salvation on the earth. It was you. It was you who split the oak. It was you who split open the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in the waters. It was you who crushed the heads of the of it was you who crushed the heads of Levathian and gave it and gave it as food to the creatures of the desert. It was you who opened It was you who opened up springs. It was you who opened up springs and streams. You dried up the ever flowing rivers. The day is yours, and yours also is the night. You established the sun and moon. It was you who set the earth. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember how the enemy has mocked you, Lord. Both foolish people have reviled your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Do not forget the lives of your afflicted people forever. Have regard for your covenant because hunts, because hunts of violence fill the dark places of the land. Do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace. Do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace. May the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O oh God, and defend your cause. Remember how fools mock you all day long. Do not ignore the, the clamor of your adversaries, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continually. Word. All right. Psalm 75, for the director of music to the tune of Do Not Destroy, a song of Asaph. Psalm 75, verse 1. Uh, Brother Asaph said, We praise you, God. We praise you. We praise you. Your name, for your name is near. People tell of your wonderful deeds. You say, I, cho you say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with equity. When the earth when the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. <laughs> yeah. We praise you, God. We praise you for your name is near. People tell of all your wonderful deeds. You say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with equity. When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who holds its pillars firm. <laughs> to the arrogant, I say, boast no more. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horns. Do not lift up your horns against heaven. Do not do not speak so defiantly. No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves. It is God who judges. He, it is God who judges. He brings one down. He exalts another. And the hand of the Lord is a cup full of Roman, full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours it out, and all the wicked of the earth drinks it down to its very to its very dreads to its very dreads. As for me, I will declare this forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob, who says, I will cut off the horns of all the wicked, but the horns of the righteous will be lifted up. Amen. Psalm 76. <clears throat> for the director of music with string instruments, a song of Asaph. Brother Asaph said. Psalm 76, verse 1. God is renowned in Judah. In Israel, his name is great. His tent is in Salem. His dwelling place in Zion, there he broke the flashing arrows, the shields and the, sp and the swords, the weapons of war. You are radiant with light, more majestic, more majestic than mountains rich with game. 
the val the valiant la plunder they sleep their last sleep not one not one of the warriors can lift his hands at your rebuke <laughs> At your rebuke, God of Jacob, both horse and chariot lie still. <laughs> it is you alone, it is you alone who are to be feared. Who can stand before you when you are angry? <laughs> From heaven you pronounce judgment. <laughs> and the land and the land feared and was quiet. When you, God, rose up to judge to save all the afflicted of the land. Surely your wrath, surely your wrath against mankind. Surely your wrath against mankind brings you praise, and the survivors of your wrath are restrained. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. Let all the neighboring lands bring gifts to the one to be feared. He breaks the spirit of rulers. He is feared by king. He is feared by the kings of the earth. Amen. Psalm seventy-seven for the director of music for Jedutin of Asaph. A song. Psalm seventy-one. Say. Psalm 77, verse 1 says, I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God. Uh, I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, when I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated, and my spirit grew faint. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remember my songs in the night. My heart meditated and my spirit acts. <laughs> I like that. He said, you kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remember my songs in the night and, and my heart my heart meditated and my spirit acts. Not, not, he said, my heart meditated and my spirit acts. Will the Lord reject forever? Will he show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? He has promised, has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? He has in his anger withheld his compassion. Has he in his anger withheld his compassion? Then I thought, <laughs> oh man, I got to go back and read that again. <laughs> uh, I, I got it. <laughs> Dude said, you kept my eyes from closing and I was too troubled to speak. I thought of, he, he remembered in the former days. I told you, like, they bring their problems to the Lord. He said, in my distress, I saw the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he thought about the former days, years of long ago. I remember my songs in the night and my heart. He said, his heart meditated and my spirit and his spirit acts. <laughs> his spirit acts himself. His spirit, let, you know when you're talking to yourself, you ever been thinking to yourself in your mind, people call it a conscience or whatever, it's your spirit. <clears throat> it's the Holy Spirit. He said, in my spirit, in my spirit acts, will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in his anger withheld his compassion? No. Will the Lord reject forever? No. What will he never show his favor again? No. Has his unfailing love vanished forever? <laughs> no. Has his promise failed for all time? No. Has God forgotten to be merciful? No. Has he, has he in his anger withheld his compassion? Not at all. Then I thought to this I will appeal. The years when the Most High stretched out stretched out his right hand. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeem your people. The descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The water saw you, God. The water saw you and with it. <laughs> said, the water saw you. <laughs> My Lord. In the beginning, God spoke and said, let the water separate from waters. He said, the water, God showed up. All they got to do is, they said, the water saw you, <laughs> and, and the water saw you, and will it. To the very, the very depths were, were convulsed, the clouds poured down water, the heavens resounded with thunder, your arrows flashed back and forth, your thunder was heard in the whirlwind, your lightning lit up the, whew, your lightning lit up the world. <laughs> Yeah, he can, he, can, he gonna light it up. I'm telling you, your lightning lit up the world. I ain't talking about no storm. He, before a storm comes, it be lightning and thunder and stuff. Before the Lord comes, it's lightning and thunder too. Yeah. 
It's gonna light up the world. I'm telling you. You're lighting them. He said it, the, it says as as clear as that sunrise, you're gonna see. I'm telling you. You gonna I, I ain't carrying the way. Your light your lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea. Your way through the mighty waters. Through your foot though your footprints were not seen. <laughs> Said so your thunder was heard in the world when your lightning lit up the world, the earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea, your way your way through the mighty waters, though your footprints were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. <laughs> Psalm 78. A mass skill, a mass skill of Asaph. Psalm 78, verse 1. Say, my people, hear my teaching. Y'all bear with me. I forgot I got my coffee, son. It's on 78. God bless you. Um, it's on 78, verse 1. Say, my people, hear my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a parable. I will utter hidden, I will utter hidden things, things from, of, things from of old. Things we have heard and known, things our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell them to the next generation. We will tell we will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. He decreed statues for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children. <laughs> he commanded that. You know? I ain't gonna be carried away. He, he decreed statues for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children. So the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born. And they, in turn, would tell their children. Uh, then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. Amen. The Lord said, if you love me, if you love me, what? Keep my commands. All, all, I, 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 wrote this, I wrote this last night. It's, it's, in, that, it's in that little book. It's not a little book uh, I'm gonna put out, but, the, but anyway, always if you keep God's word, he if you keep God's word, he he gives you the Holy Spirit. Caleb had Caleb in the Old Testament. Caleb had a different spirit. Uh, the Lord said, He said, only Caleb, only my servant Caleb gonna enter the land because he has a different spirit. Caleb had the Holy Spirit. How did Caleb get this? Says because he followed me wholeheartedly. He kept his, he kept God's word. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commands. And always, if you, I'm telling you, and he gives you the Holy Spirit. Always has been. The Holy Spirit ain't just pop up. Go to Genesis chapter 1 and say, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty and formless. Uh, darkness was over the, the face of the deep. And the, and the Holy Spirit was hovering over the waters. Amen. He was there in the beginning. To all people. If you accept God's word, he gives you the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I'm telling you. He asked the Father. You ain't got to do nothing. It says he asked the Father. That's what Lord Jesus said. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father. He always has been. I'm telling you. Anyway, that's what, uh, Psalm, Psalm 78, verse 7. Then they would put their trust in God, and they would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. Uh, they would not be like their ancestors. A stubborn and rebellious generation whose hearts were not loyal to God, whose spirits were not faithful to him. The men of Ephraim thought <clears throat> the men of Ephraim, though armed with bows, turned their backs on day on the day of battle. They did not keep God's covenant and refused to live by his law. They forgot what he had done, the wonders he had shown them. He did miracles in the sight of their ancestors in the land of Egypt, in the region of Zon. He divided the sea and led them through. He made the water stand up like a wall. <laughs> he guided them. With, he guided them with the cloud by day and with the light from the fire uh, all night. <laughs> he split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them water as abundant as the seas. He brought streams out of the rocky crag and made the water flow down like rivers. <laughs> but they continued to sin against him, rebellion in the wilderness against the Most High. They willfully put God to the test. They demanded the food they craved. They spoke against God. They said, "Can God really spread?" Whew. They said, "Can God really spread a table in the wilderness?" <laughs> they said they put God to the test, for they demanded the food they craved. They they wanted they demanded the food they craved. They spoke against God. They said, "Can God really spread a table in the wilderness?" True. 
He struck the rock and water gushed out. Oof. They treated they treated that like it's nothing. I, don't, I ain't never seen nobody hit a rock. If Moses hit a rock and water. I'm telling you, the, 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 the same thing today. Exact same thing today. It's things God and did for people they treat like nothing. I'm sure God did something for somebody in somebody's life and they treated like nothing. Oh, you say, oh, he spared my life that time, but that's nothing. <laughs> people get up, act like it don't nothing happen. I just I see it. I see it happen all the time. God do something or something and they act like it's nothing. But anyway. They willfully put God to the test yeah. by demanding the food they crave. They spoke against God. They said, can God really spread a table in the wilderness? <laughs> he brought you out of age. <laughs> Y'all seen the stuff he did. Uh, true. He, he struck the rock and water gushed out. Streams flowed abundantly. But can he also give us bread? Can he supply me for his people? When the Lord heard them, he was furious. His fire broke out against Jacob. And his wrath rose against Israel, for they did not believe in God or trust in his deliverance. Yet he gave yet he gave a command to the skies above. Whew. Yet he gave a command to the skies above and opened the doors of the heavens, and he rained down manna for the people to eat. He gave them the grain of heaven. Human beings ate the bread of angels. He sent them all the food they could eat. He let loose the east wind from the heavens, and by his power he made the south wind blow. He rained meat down on them like dust. <laughs> oh, so he let loose the east wind from the heavens, and by his power made the south wind blow. He rained meat down on them like dust, birds like sand on the seashore. He made them come down. He made them come down inside their camp, all around their tents. They ate till they they ate till they were gorged. He had given them what they you you know. It says he had given them what they had craved. I must tell you this. You better don't. I thank God I ain't got a lot of stuff what I asked for. <laughs> I, I thank God I have not got a lot of stuff what I asked for. Why you say that? I thank God I have not got a lot of stuff what I asked for. Don't you know the Lord will give you what you want? And then God will be good to you if you want something better. Now, you, you ever seen that genie in the bottle? If you want something, it's a good it's, it's a good thing the Lord don't give you what you ask for sometimes. Because you think that's what you really want, but it's not what you really want. If you know what I mean. I'm telling you, Satan wanted to rule so bad. Lucifer wanted to rule so bad. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. He wanted the kingdom so bad. He, I'm telling you, he had a place in his heart. He was going to set up one. He, he said he's going to set up on earth. God allowed him to set up. The Lord, the Bible said God would be good to you, and then he'll destroy you afterwards. Where do you see that at? Um, uh, and Joshua 24 verse 20 Joshua 24 verse 20 brother Joshua said if you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods he will turn and bring disaster on you and make an end of you after he has been good to you yeah the people complain this and that uh he let listen uh Psalm 78 verse 29 say they ate till they were gorged he had given them what they craved before, but before they turn, but before they turn from what they crave, even while the food was still in their mouth, <laughs> listen, they, they ate till they were gorged. He had he had given them what they crave, but before they turned from what they crave, even while the food was still in their mouth, God's anger rose against them. He put he put to death the sturdiest among them, cutting down the young men of Israel. And it says in, in Numbers, while the food was still in their mouth, they dropped down dead. In spite of all this, they kept on sinning. In spite, in spite of his wonders, they did not believe. So he ended their days in futility. In their years in terror, God was still faithful to them. Though. All them people that perished in the wilderness, they sinned against God. God was still faithful to them. And they, they walked through the Sea of Moses. And they was baptized with, they was baptized with Moses in the sea. And in a sense, it's was, it was like being baptized with Jesus. It's a nice story about them in Hebrews. God, God was faithful to them. My Bible say all oh, sin and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely that came through the redemp that came through Jesus Christ by His redemption, by His blood. Amen. Yeah. All right, watch that thing. In spite of all this, Psalm Psalm seventy eight, verse thirty two. In spite of all this, they kept on sinning. In spite of His wonders, they did not believe. So he ended their days in futility and their years in terror. 
You hear that? And their years and terror. Whenever God, whenever God slew them, they would seek him. <laughs> when, when people in trouble, they always call out to God for help. <laughs> That's the first thing people are going to do then. Well, maybe not the first thing they do if they don't do nothing foolish. But people quit to call out to him for help in trouble. Or whatever. And the Lord faithful every time. But, uh, but listen. Uh, <laughs> listen. Whenever God slew them, they would seek him. They eagerly, they eagerly, they, they eagerly, I don't know why I want to say eagerly. Don't laugh at me. It's still early in the morning. <laughs> uh, forget it. Okay. Whenever God slew them, they would seek him. They eagerly turned to him again. They remembered that God was their rock, amen. The God most high was their redeemer. But when they, but listen. But then they would flatter him with their mouths. Keep it telling me ain't going on right now. Lying to him with their tongues. Their hearts were not loyal to him. They were not faithful to his covenant. They, they same thing now, man. God don't. I'm telling you, he won't. Um, man. Those who worship must worship in the spirit and truth. It says, but then they would flatter him with their mouths. <laughs> Empty praise. Lying to lying to him with their tongues. <laughs> Their hearts were not loyal to him. They were not faithful to his covenant. Yet he was merciful. Amen. He forgave their iniquities and did not destroy them. Amen. Time after time he refrained his anger and did not stir up his full wrath. Amen. He remembered that they he remembered that they were but flesh, a passing breeze that does not return. God in his mercy. How often, how often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the wasteland. God got feelings. It says it grieved him. You can grieve the Lord. You know how people do stuff to you. If somebody do something to you and it and it let you down, God got feelings too. I, I know I don't let the Lord down, but love stuff or whatever. But bless, bless the Lord, not let him down, but grieve in the Holy Spirit. Eric, I'm gonna put you. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. God knows what's gonna happen before it's gonna happen. But just like if you got family, kids or something, and they do something to you, it kind of hurt a little bit. It do hurt a little bit. But God got feelings too. And grieved them in the wasteland. Again and again they put God to the test. They vexed the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember they did not remember his power. The day he redeemed them from the oppressor. The day he displayed his, his the day he displayed his, his signs in Egypt, his wonders in the region of Zoan. He he turned their he turned their river into blood. They could not drink from their streams. He sent swarms of flies, they devout he sent swarms of flies that devoured them, that devoured them, and frogs that devastated them. He gave their crops, he gave their crops to the grasshopper, their produce to the locusts. He destroyed their vines with hail, and their and their sacklemore figs with sheep with sleep. He gave over their cattle to the hail, their livestock to boats of lightning. He unleashed again, he unleashed, he unleashed against them his hot anger, his wrath, and the nation and hostility. A band of destroying angels. Whew. My God. It said, He unleashed against them his hot anger, his wrath, indignation, and hostility. A band of destroying angels. Not one angel, but a band of destroying angels. He prepared a, he prepared a path for his he prepared a path for his anger. He did not spare them, he did not spare them from death, but gave them over to the plague. He did not spare them from death, but gave them over to the plague. He struck them down. He struck down all the firstborn of Egypt, the first fruits of man of manhood, and the and the tents of hand. But he brought his people out like a flock. Amen. He led them like sheep through the wilderness. Amen. He guided them. He guided them safely, so that so they were unafraid. Amen. But the sea engulfed the enemies, and so he brought them to the border of his holy land, to the to the hill country, to the hill country his right hand had taken. To the hill country his his right hand had taken. He drove out nations before them and allotted their lands to them as as an inheritance. He settled the tribes of Israel in their homes. But it, but they put God to the test <laughs> and rebelled against the Most High. They did not keep his statues like their ancestors. They were disloyal and faithless, as unre, as unreliable as a faulty boat. Uh, <laughs> they angered him. They angered him with their high places. 
They angered him with they angered him with their high places. They aroused his jealousy with their idols. When God heard them, he was furious. He rejected Israel completely. He abandoned the, the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent he had set up among humans. He sent the ark, he sent the ark of his might into captivity, his splendor into the hands of the enemy. He gave his people over to the sword. He was furious with, with his inheritance. Fire, fire consumed their young men and their young women had and their young women had no wedding songs. Their priests were put to the sword, and their widows could not weep. Then the Lord awoke. Then the Lord awoke as from sleep, as a warrior wakes from from the stupor of wine. He beat back his enemies. He he put a man. He beat back his enemies. He put them to everlasting shame. Then he rejected the tents. Then he rejected the tents of Joseph. He did not choose. Then he rejected the tents of Joseph. He did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but he chose the tribe of Joseph, Mount Zion, which he loved. He built his sanctuary like the heights, like the earth that he, that he established forever. He chose David his his he chose David his servant, and took him from the sheep's pen, from tending the sheep. He brought him to be the shepherd of his people, uh, Jacob. Amen. Of Israel, his inheritance, and David, and David shepherded them with integrity of heart, with skillful hands he led them. Amen. <laughs> like that. So he took David from the sheep span to the palace. <laughs> did y'all read all? Them, did y'all listen to them all them times and times when God did something, and then they turn right back? Being unfaithful, and the whole book of Judges, the whole book of Judges, the whole book about that. <laughs> every time, every time God, the people, God bless the people, and then they turn, they turn right back on, him. and then he raised somebody up for him, and then they turn back on him again, and then he raised somebody up for him, and then they turn back on him again, and then he raised somebody else back up for him. <laughs> people, man, God don't change. People, we change. <laughs> you can go to sleep feeling good, wake up feeling crazy. You can go to sleep feeling crazy, wake up feeling good. The Lord don't change. <laughs> All right, well, I turn the page. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry away my turn. <laughs> Psalm 79, I got a few more minutes. <laughs> God bless y'all. All right. Psalm 79. <clears throat> Psalm 79. A song of Asaph. All right. And hey, we're gonna be in Psalms for a minute. It's like 146 chapters. 140 chapters. 46 or something. Something. Yeah. But anyway, Psalm 79. I like these Jones. I like I love I love this. Psalm 79. Best time you can spend time in God's word. Pastor Troy say. What about that? Psalm 79, verse 1. Oh God, the nations have invaded your inheritance. They have defiled, they have defiled your holy temple. They have reduced Jerusalem, Jerusalem, to rubble. They have left the dead bodies. They have left the dead bodies of your servants as food for birds, for the birds of the sky, the flesh of your own people for the animals of the wild. They have poured out blood like water all around Jerusalem, uh, and there is no one to bury the dead. We are objects of contempt to our neighbors, of scorn and diversion to those around us. How long, Lord, will you be angry forever? How long will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the nations that do not acknowledge you, on the kingdoms that do not call on your name, for they have devoured Jacob and devastated his homeland. Do not hold it do not hold against us the sins of our past generations. May your mercy come quickly to meet us, for we are for we are in desperate need. Help us, God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, "Where is their God?" Before our eyes make known, before our eyes make known among the nations that you that you avenge the outpour of blood of your servants. May the groans of the prisoners come before you. With your strong arm, preserve those who, with your strong arm, preserve those condemned to die. Amen. Pay back into the laps. I love that. He said, "May the groans of the prisoners, may the groans of the prisoners come before you." With your strong arm, preserve those condemned to die. You know, I love that. It ain't over till God says so. Even I'm telling you, the world can't count you out. Pay back into their laps. <clears throat> Pay back into the laps of our neighbors seven times the contempt they have hurled at you, Lord. Then, 
Then we your people, the sheep of your pasture, will, the sheep of your pasture will praise you forever. From generation to generation, we will proclaim your praise. Amen. Psalms 80. Psalms 80. For the director of music to the tune of the lilies of the covenant of Asaph and song. Psalms 80 verse 1. Say, Hear us, shepherd of Israel. Hear us, shepherd of Israel. You who led, jo you who led Joseph like a flock. You who sit between the cherubim. <laughs> Shine forth between Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Awaken your might. Come and save us. Restore us, O God. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. How long, Lord God, will your... How long, Lord God Almighty, will your anger smolder, smolder against the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears by the bo by the bowl food. You have made us an object of diversion of divert 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 derision. <laughs> you have made us an object of derision. You have made us an object of derision derision. To our neighbors and our enemies mock us. Restore us, God Almighty, and make your face shine on us that we may be saved. You transplanted a you transplanted a vine from Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it, and it took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cheddars with it, with its branches. The branches reached as far as the sea, it shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down its walls so that all who pass by pick Pick its grapes, uh, boars from the boars from the forest ravage it, and insects from the fields feed on it. Return, return to us, God Almighty. Look down from heaven and see. Watch over this vine, the root your right hand has planted. Your son, the son you have raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down; it is burnt with fire. At your rebuke, your people perish. Let your hand rest on the man. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we and we will call on your name. Amen. Restore us, Lord. Restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. Like that. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. <laughs> like that. Sometimes. Restore us, God Almighty. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. This is a song for the word where it's at. Lord, give it to me. I got so much in my head right now. I'm going to get carried away. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. Lord, if it don't pop up real fast, I'm going to keep reading. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. Where was it at? Oh, yeah. It's Isaiah. It's an Isaiah. My bad. <laughs> I tell you, it's early in the morning, y'all. Thursday, whatever, Wednesday. It is Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 50. Sometimes you're going to be, you're going to find yourself. Uh, just because you serve the Lord don't mean things going to be bright all the time. You can't have daytime without nighttime. Jesus said, in this world, you're going to have a whole lot of trouble. Only in him, you're going to have peace. I believe when, when they, when, when the disciples was in the river, when they was in that boat, they was being obedient to the Lord. <laughs> Yeah, the Lord told him to go cross the, cross the shore or something, and the storm came up. Uh, Isaiah chapter 50, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 10 says, Say, Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let the one who walks in the dark, who had this person, obeys the, uh, fears the Lord. This person obeys the word of his servant. This person is walking in the dark and has no light. It says, let the one who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on, and rely on their God. Amen. Even in a dark time, keep trusting in the Lord. <clears throat> uh, it's only by his light that we can see. That's what the brother saying. Restore, restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. It's only by keep trusting in the Lord. Look into him. I can do one more. Psalms uh, 81. Say, sing for joy to God. Sing for joy to God. Sing for joy to God our strength. And shout aloud to God. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music. Strike the timbre. And play the melodious. And play the melodious. The, the melodious heart. <laughs> and lyre. 
Sound the ram song at the new moon, and when the, and when the moon is full on the day of the festival, this is a this is a decree for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. When God went out against Egypt, He established it as a statute for Joseph. I heard an unknown voice. I heard an unknown voice saying, "I removed the burden from their shoulders." <laughs> I heard an unknown voice say, "I removed the burden from their shoulders. Their hands were set free from the basket." In your distress you called and I rescued you. I answered you out of a thunder ooh, I answered you out of a thundercloud. <laughs> I tested you at the waters of America. Hear me, my people, and I will warn you. If you if you would only listen to me, Israel, you shall have no foreign god among you. You shall not worship any other god other than me. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. <laughs> Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to me. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to the stubborn to their stubborn heart to follow other devices to follow their own devices. Mm. Mm. But my people would not listen to me. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own devices. Mm. If my people would only listen to me, if Israel would only follow my ways, how quickly I would subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before them, and their punishment would last forever. But you will, but you will be fed with the finest of wheat. Well, honey, from the rock I will satisfy you. Amen. Stop right there, y'all. God bless y'all, man. God bless you. God bless you. I hope y'all enjoying yourself and taking y'all time. And I hope y'all, I hope y'all, you never get step two until you take step one. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. It'll be the best thing you did. The best thing you did. Take your stuff for the Lord. Spence it. Jesus came to Martha's home one day. <laughs> and Martha married they sisters. And Jesus ain't tell Martha to go do anything to get stuff going on. When he came to the home, he just came in. <laughs> Martha got caught up trying to do everything. Meanwhile, Mary, she just sat down at Jesus' feet and was listening to their, what it, she, she was just sitting at Jesus' feet, being still, knowing that he is God. <laughs> It'll be the best thing you ever decided to do. Martha came in hot. <laughs> Martha said, Lord, why don't you tell Mary to get up and tell her to come in here and help me, man? Like, where? Y'all just in here sitting down? <laughs> Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you worried about many things. Few things are required. Really only one. <laughs> Mary, cho Mary chose what's best for her, and it's not going to be taken away from her. <laughs> she chose to sit down at the feet of God. <laughs> Can't no one take that away from you. The world and everything else can wait. <laughs> what's the rush anyway? <laughs> Uh, it ain't too much of a rush to get too caught up. <laughs> the, tomorrow got enough problems of his own, <laughs> the Bible says. In this world, God, you're going to have trouble. Only in Jesus, you're going to have peace. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. You keep asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit, he's going to give it to you. Keep on asking. Keep asking. Keep trusting him. I love y'all. Y'all keep praying for me. I'm going to keep praying for y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow.